Hi everyone, it's all bike day today. Now, what I've just done, I've just fixed my Himaway. Um, I did have a problem with no electrical assistance, but I'm staying in the garage because I'm just about to fit a new camera, well, a new camera system to my everyday bike. This is made by Inov, and uh, a lot of the time, motorcycle camera manufacturers but they've made this product for bikes and it's a system that is designed to stay in place and you don't have to recharge these cameras you actually use a power bank to power it on a daily basis but there's a decent feature that i'm going to try and show after i've put it on so the first thing i've got to do i'm going to take all my mounts off because i've got camera mounts absolutely everywhere and we're going to find some place to put this for this product and many others check out the links in the description and use the code ashley to save yourself an extra five percent okay there's the first one off And the others are a little easier. Now, I am going to keep one mount on because I use this mount for the one that uh, is facing towards me. And these, these cameras are going to be facing forward and back. Now, I think I'm good with that. So there's my little screw clamp off. Now, I think it's about time we open the box and have a look to see exactly we've got so as you can see it comes in a nice little box these cameras are quite small in size not even taking them out not even looked at the instructions I'm obviously not going to do that oops that doesn't come out like that watch me drop this everywhere they can poke through I think that's the best way in it so yeah, work it out on the fly. That's what we do on the roads, isn't it? So yeah, we've got a couple of cameras. They're obviously going to go through there. I'm not actually sure where it stores the files. There's um, it's got to be an area where you put an SD card in. You just put these through here. As you can see, unboxing the Ashley way. So we've got... A couple of cameras i'm just going to put them down to the side a second we've got a couple of mounts which is though a connector cable and what have we got in here some more fastenings and stuff so i'm going to get on with putting this together and then uh, i'll come back to you in a min Okay, so I've put the main pieces of the camera together and it's quite well put together. I've detached the back piece, um, but effectively you, you sit the camera in its little holder. Um, effectively, there's a couple of screws here which are waterproof and you put the, uh, the SD card in there. So it looks pretty good. So I'm going to get it mounted to the bike. Um, you've got a couple of cables coming off one that goes uh, to your power bank obviously and one that goes to the rear camera now i'm not exactly how sure and how waterproof it's going to be with this plugged into a power bank i have got myself a waterproof power bank um, but whether or not that that's the best option i might have to invest in a waterproof bag we'll see but let's get it fitted first well that looks pretty secure for now not bad at all. I'm just going to show you how that's gone in. Um, it does look a little high, but um, like I said, it's easy to adjust. So I'm going to adjust that after. And then one of the cables feeds down to the back seat. And the other one is going to go to the power bank. Let's get that one fitted. This next one just clamps onto the underside of your seat rail let's have a little look there's a little space for it there as well but it's going to be pretty tight so um, bear me bear with me with this one might actually be an idea to take the seat out and fit it straight to that definitely easier so 
that's all sorted as you can see it sits nicely under the saddle uh, it was a little tricky to get absolutely spot on but it just needs tightening um, to be honest i did have to move the seat forward slightly on the post and um, well the post forward slightly on the seat just so it could accommodate it where i needed to if i had it further up it didn't have the adjustability to then twist to get level but it looks pretty good now okay that looks pretty good all i've got to do now is route the cables you can affix the cables to the bike with these little strips that come with the kit let's see how good these are okay that wasn't actually too bad now i'm just going to show you how it's been routed so we've got the main unit camera here that's okay we've still got the uh the wire spare for the power bank but i've routed it down the side of the head tube i'm just going to move the bike out and as you can see um the clear connectors are pretty good and then i've put a couple more down at the bottom of the seat post and i've literally just wound it round put it behind my light and then it goes straight into the unit so it all looks pretty neat now let's have a little look to see what the app works like so here we are with the app let's have a little look to see what goes on i might have to plug the camera in right allow while using the app that's fine um connect the device on a local network no don't want to do that uh access your photos yeah i'm happy with that it looks as though we've got some settings right let's uh let's get this powered up and see whether we can get it working like I said, I do have a waterproof power bank, but I'm still a little wary of this connector being out in the open if it's absolutely lashing down. So we're going to have to see what goes on with that. Like I said, I might have to get a waterproof bag. You can get a little one that just sits on the top, which would be ideal. And now that can go in my seat. I think you turn it on like that um, right don't know what the password is give us a second like most things one two three four five six seven eight okay so I had to change some settings but it looks as though I've got in um, let's have a little look at the resolution you get uh, 2K front and you get 1080p at the back. Loop recording, I'm going to stick on for three minutes. That's my normal setting. Mic volume, date and time, watermark text. don't really want any watermark text, to be fair. Um, we'll see, though. Date and time. I'm going to switch mine off. That's just for my uh, recording. But it looks as though there's some uh, decent settings, update time, that does it straight from your phone. Let's have a little look at the cameras. Okay, pretty good. What's that looking like? That needs twisting round a little bit, that one at the back. Uh, but the front one does look pretty decent. Okay, let's get these cameras all sorted in the correct position. You can take the little stickies off now. That front one looks pretty good and straight. Let's just uh, adjust this one a little. Which way around do we want to go? So the Inov brand on the camera needs to be right at the top. And that's how you know it is pretty level. Probably says that in the instructions, but sorted it now. Okay, so that's all connected and all sorted. What I want to just think of just for a second now is what benefits could this have? Well, 
what you can do is set this up as a rear screen only and when you're riding down the road you can have your phone set up on your handlebar and you can use this as a, a rear view camera if you like and I think that's a pretty good little feature um, yes there's always a place for the shoulder checks and communication with people around however this may suit some people with limited mobility so um, that will do with that for today what I am going to do going forward is take this out for a test ride and see exactly how this rear view camera for a bike copes in the real world thanks a lot for watching keep safe and I'll see you soon